This is the story of Eleanor Cobham, Duchess of Gloucester, and the attempted murder of Henry VI by witchcraft. Eleanor was the second wife of Humphrey, Duke of Gloucester, who was the younger brother of Henry V. Henry V died 1422, leaving a nine-month-old baby boy. If a child was to die, Humphrey would become king and Eleanor queen. Henry VI was the opposite of his father, Henry V, who was a natural leader in battles. After his victory at Agincourt 1415, the whole of England rejoiced. Henry VI was not a natural leader. In fact, he suffered from depression and anxiety. He was a deeply religious man. This created a power vacuum and which fueled plots to remove him as king. In 1441, Eleanor arranged with the help of Roger Bolingbroke, astrologer, Thomas Southwell, canon at St. Stephen's, Westminster, Marjorie Jordan Main, a witch, arranged to murder Henry VI by witchcraft. The venue for this act of necromancy was the Bishop of London's hunting lodge at Highgate. The rich Marjorie Jordan Main would make a wax effigy of a king, while Roger Bolingbroke would evoke the dark forces to consume the king, and Thomas Southwell would pray for the departed king's soul. Humphrey, who had fought alongside his brother, Henry V at Agincourt, was now a trusted advisor to his nephew, Henry VI. To discredit Humphrey and remove the trust between nephew and uncle, the Duke of Suffolk concocted the plot of necromancy against the king by Eleanor, casting suspicion on Humphrey's ambitions. As the allegation of necromancy could not be disproved by the four, Eleanor was divorced by Humphrey and locked up in Peel Castle, Isle of Man. Roger Bolingbroke was hung, drawn and quartered at Tyburn, his head stuck on a pole over London Bridge. Thomas Southwell died in the Tower of London. Mary Jordan Main was burnt at the stake at Smithfield.